Sup nerds, this is Cosplay Shenanigans. So, Levi here. We just got a package in the mail. It's from this great site, Adagio Tees. Hashtag not spawn. I wish I was spawn. We just ordered 40 fucking dollars worth of tea. And we are gonna open it right here in front of you guys. Because it's fucking great tea. All right, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna take our fucking knife. And I originally intended to just kind of stock up on some more morning tea. I need to sharpen this fucking knife. My God. I originally intended to just stock up on more teas for just drinking. And I may or may not have gotten a little overboard. Okay, what the fuck is this? I mostly ordered a bunch of samples. So... Oh shit. This is the, uh... Teaster Marshmallow. Their, uh, Easter promotion. It was really fucking cute. They had a whole little hunt, Easter egg hunt, on their website. Uh, what else did we get here? We got... Oh, fuck. The, uh, Capricorn birth month, best month, you can smell from not even opening it, you can smell the coconut in this. It's got, uh, black and white tea mixed with coconut is the practical choice for giving Capricorn a serious dose of focus and flavor. Capricorns work hard and need a smooth yet strong tea to get them through long night, long, to get them through long nights at work. Vanilla and rose petals are a classic combination of flavors that Capricorns can depend on. Uh, ingredients, black tea, white tea, coconut, apples, rose petals, coconut flavor, and vanilla flavor. It's, you can smell it. It's so good. This has been my staple. I ran out of it. That's why I ordered more. Let's just, uh, not spill it everywhere. Come on, bitch. I could just yank this shit off, but then tea would go flying everywhere, and that's a fucking waste of tea. Alright, there we go. Oh, it had tape on it, that's... That explains shit. But you can see... Good quality, loose leaf tea. It smells... My god. I'm nutting sniffing this. cannot wait to make that. I already know what it tastes like. It tastes like nutting. This tea has like... It's upside down. Has a little bit of coconutiness. It's really light. It's not astringent. Uh, it doesn't get too bitter. The coconut and the vanilla... It hints at being sweet. Without actually being sweet. It's like, it's celestial. It is like a dream. I fucking love this tea. Again, not sponsored. I'm just addicted to tea. And here we have the other reason I ordered. Um, another restocking, basically. The other thing about Adagio is they have fandom tees. Now, uh, I don't know why people are fans of Erwin, but they made a tea for him. And it tastes like fruit and amazing good shit. And I love it. 
So that is another tea that I already know what it tastes like. Uh, what's in it? Uh, doesn't say. Does not say on the back. But it's great. I think it has like pear and apricot white teas or something. It's... Uh, how many times can I say it's great before you get it? That it's fucking great. And who else? Okay. The rest of the 40 bucks is made up with uh, samples. Because why the fuck not? So we have a couple more fandom samples. Okay, let's not. We have... So I don't know which of you brats, like, started this, but... I don't do weed. Don't smoke drugs, kids. It's bad for you and you will die. But we have black, white, and puer teas in this. And let's see if this doesn't have tape on it either, does it? It does not. So it has black, white, and puer teas. Uh, puer is a fermented black tea. And it has fucking sprinkles. Holy fucking shit. Excited to taste that. Okay, and let's... God. They pack these sample tins really fucking well, too. Like, there is no headroom. Okay, come on, come on. Get in there. All right. And I don't know if uh, you guys have heard of this or not, but uh, there's this anime called uh, Yuri's on Ice. Anyways, Anger Child. Uh, why did I get this one? I think it's a spiced tea and it has peppercorns in it. That's what interested me. So, oh, I didn't, I didn't sniff my own tea, but oh well. This one, I don't remember what was in it either. Other than, you can see that red there, the peppercorns. Oh, ooh. Mm. Okay, I might need to go find a room in private and like rub this all over my fucking body. <sighs> it's got, oh my god. It smells fucking great. Oh shit. That that might be something I am going to be reordering. That is gonna take milk and sugar so well. Oh, it says on the front, uh Oh I was getting hints of almond is what I was getting. Almond oolong, vanilla oolong, white chai, sham, no, cinnamon, uh, peppercorns, and orange peel. So I was getting the almond, the vanilla, and the cinnamon is what I was getting. I could not place that almond. Whew. Oh man, that smells good. And then we got all of my other samples that I plan on making some of my own blends with. Uh, we got some gum powder, green tea, should be fucking great. Love green tea. 
Uh, oh yeah. So I got a white tea as well, white peony, uh, just to try it out since I liked Erwin so much. And I tried, or I'm going to try, yerba mate. We have yerba mate right here and toasted mate over here. Uh, actually thinking of making a blend with some of that. Uh, possibly details in the future. Maybe a future video. They give you like points towards more tea if you make a blend and then make a video review of your own blend. I thought that uh, you got points if you made review videos for any blend, but... Apparently you don't, but fuck it, because good tea. Y'all need to learn about some good fucking tea. So those two should be great, or I hope so. Yerba Mate is like, uh, it's not tea, it's not coffee, but it has caffeine. So I don't know. We'll see how I like it. That is the unboxing. Um, bubble wrap. I don't, I, I didn't even, I didn't even like intentionally go for it. It was trash. It was in my lap and Does this count as ASMR now? Any Anyways. We shall commence with the tea tasting. Cut, wipes, fades, stars, everything. 